All right, so today we are going to continue learning about physical maps. And we've learned about physical features that we have around us. Now we're gonna look at how they look on a map. So we're gonna use this epic book and I'm just gonna, gonna go over a few different things with you and then you're gonna have some practice. So physical maps are different maps that actually show those physical features we've learned about the past few days. So if we look at this image, you're going to see the Atlantic Ocean is shown on the side, the Gulf of Mexico is shown at the bottom, and the Pacific Ocean. Those are blue because water is often associated with the color blue. We also have the Great Lakes that are shown. All right, we have a mountain range. Kind of looks like they were trying to show it almost as if, if you didn't know, it kind of does look like mountains are drawn there, okay? And then we have the Appalachian Mountain Range here. So let's look at a few different examples of physical maps. So this is a, like a far out, um, very zoomed out version. I wanna look at a more zoomed in version. So here is a physical map um, of Tennessee. And you can see they have this legend here that kind of tells us whenever we see these little triangles, that means there's a mountains. So right here, there would be like a mountain range. Okay. They also have, if we see blue, there's going to be a waterway. So here we have a lake, we have some rivers. Um, we also have like a national park. So that's going to be where there's like maybe a big area of forest. So we can see that here. Okay, so you can see those physical features are shown on the map. Even though it's just a drawing, we know that wherever there is some sort of blue like this, there's water there. Um, so it's good to kind of make sure you look for the legend, look for the key, kind of like you're decoding it, and then see, like, how do they indicate there's mountains? Oh, okay, here we go. This is where the mountains are. So now we're gonna actually go in and kind of do some exploring of maps on our own, looking at those legends and seeing, can you identify where those different areas are on a map? 